Hello dear learners, this is Shindu Sarkar and English teacher English version senior section, Milestone School and College. Welcome you all to our online class. I hope you all are fine. Dear learners, I hope you are taking part all the Zoom classes and online video classes properly. So today I am going to start with you a new class and I hope you will pay attention right from the beginning. So dear learners, before going to start our today's lesson, I am going to ask some questions from the previous lesson. So, first question for you, as you have learned the paragraph in the last class, so first question for you, what is paragraph? Can you say? Yes, a paragraph is a piece of writing that deals with a single theme within one para. Yes, very good. Now, next question for you, can you say what are the parts of the paragraph? Yes, there are three main parts of the paragraph. What are they? Yes. First one is topic sentence. Then supporting sentences or you may say supporting details. Then concluding sentence. Okay. Very good. Okay. Dear learners, now we are going to start our today's lesson. So let's get started with the today's lesson. Today's lesson is about preposition and adverb. So, at first I am going to ask you what is preposition. Can you say? Yes. Preposition is a part of space. Yes. Preposition is a part of space that is used before noun or pronoun and makes relation with the other words of the sentence. Very good. Okay. Now, I am going to discuss the types of the preposition. So, first one simple preposition here simple preposition here the example at in up to then double preposition without into upon why it is called double preposition because within this preposition you are getting two preposition how with plus out in plus two up plus on then compound preposition compound preposition in case of compound preposition before noun adjective or adverb if we get simple preposition then it is called compound preposition so here about within this preposition you will get one plus by plus out above you will get it here one plus by plus up okay so this is called compound preposition then participle preposition here the example is regarding this matter I know nothing you know participle whenever verb plus ing is acting as an adjective okay here because it is used before noun this matter so it is an adjective at the same time you are getting here verb plus ing so certainly it is a participle okay but you know instead of this participle you can use uh, preposition also you can write here about okay so about this matter I know nothing so this type of participle will be called participle preposition is it clear I think it is clear to you okay dear learners fresh preposition fresh preposition you know example here by dint of in front of you are getting more than one preposition but it is expressed as on unit okay so by dint of without by dint of you if you details from on or from one preposition from this words from this phrase it will not be expressed okay so it is united together and expressed as on okay then disguised preposition now it is four o'clock here you are getting here o this o stands for of so this O is considered as disguised preposition. Okay. Now detached preposition. Example, what are you looking for? In case of detached preposition, you are getting the preposition, you know, at the end of the sentence. Actually, within the sentence, it is not using. But at the end of the sentence, you are getting it. But it is, you know, without this for, this sentence is not meaningful. If I give one more example, it will be clear. I have no pen to write with. 
okay if you do not write the with at the end of the sentence it will not be expressed i mean the sentence will not be completed the sentence will not be completed okay now dear learners we are going to learn adverbs adverb you know all of you know that it modifies verb but we are going to learn it today differently because adverb does not modify only a verb also it modifies all the parts of speech except noun pronoun or interjection so dear students at first you have to learn the definition of the adverb so write it down definition the parts of speech that modifies all the parts of speech except noun pronoun and interjection and even a whole sentence is called an adverb write it down properly okay dear students now we are going to start how does it modify all the parts of speech except noun pronoun and interjection at first it modifies verb if i give an example here it will be clear to you usain bolt runs quickly here quickly is modifying here verb runs okay dear students so quickly adverb is modifying here verbs how quickly okay you will get the answer if you make question with the how and sometimes with the time also when you will get the answer if you use when you will get the answer now it also modifies adjective he is a very good student he is a very good student here very adverb is modifying adjective good here he is a very good student have you understood okay dear students now adverb modifies preposition also how does it modify preposition if i give an example it will be clear to you i am telling you that dear students i am just before you i am just before you here just you know adverb and pre before is preposition here so this just here adverb is modifying preposition before okay dear students have you understood i think all of you have understood okay dear students now an adverb modifies conjunction also how look at the example he couldn't work properly because he was injured here properly is you know modifying because here because conjunction so in this way adverb and adverb modifies conjunction also okay dear students now dear students an adverb modifies the whole sentence also how how does it modify whole sentence if i give an example it will be clear look at the sentence i go there generally if i tell i go there that means you are understanding that you go there this is an present indefinite tense but if i use sometimes at the beginning of the sentence sometimes i go there so sometimes here an adverb is changing the whole sentence is modifying the whole sentence so an adverb modifies the whole sentence now dear students we are going to learn the use of adverb okay okay dear students now use of adverbs first one after transit intransitive verb we use adverbs an example is given and i am giving uh, you know i am explaining explaining it later now after the object of intransitive verb after the object of the transitive verb you know we use an adverb then at the start of the sentence we also use an adverb before adverb before adverb we also use adverb okay before preposition we use adverb you have learned it earlier then before adjective we also use adverb then before principal verb we also use adverbs so these are the ways of using adverbs actually in the sentences dear students now i am making it clear with the examples that i have written here okay 
for the benefit of you. And first one, after intransitive verb, we use adverb. This is intransitive verb. Walk slowly. Now, can you remember what is intransitive verb? The verb that doesn't take object is called intransitive verb. Okay, the verbs which have not any object is called intransitive verb. Here we have not any object. If you make question with what you will get, if you do not get answer or whom by using whom, in that case you will get the intransitive verb. Here he walks slowly. So here this is walks in the intransitive verb. You know this walks here intransitive verb and this is adverb. This is adverb. Okay. Adverb and this is intransitive verb. Intransitive verb. Okay. Now, second one after the object of transitive verb. After the object of transitive verb. Transitive verb. So, always takes object. Here, they completed the work. Completed the work. Completed what? The work. So, if you make question with what and who, you will get the answer. It will be called transitive verb. So, here, completed what? The work. So, this completed is transitive verb. So after the object here, after the object of transitive verb, this is transitive verb, this is transitive verb, and then object, and you are getting here adverb. Okay, dear students. So here, after the object of the transitive verb, we are getting adverb. Okay, now dear students, at the state of uh, at the start of the sentence. At the start of the sentence, we have told you earlier that at the start or at the start of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence, we start we use adverb. Okay, we gave example earlier that sometimes I go there, but here generally, 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 he helps me. So here this one is adverb and this one modifying the whole sentence. Okay, so. At the start of the sentence, we use adverb also. Now, before adverb, before adverb, we also use adverb. Before adverb, we also use adverb. How? Look at here. Quickly, adverb. And this very is also adverb. I have told you earlier that an adverb modifies an adverb also. That means an adverb modifies an adverb also. Here, this one also adverb. Okay, dear students, now... And adverb modifies preposition also. I mean, it is used before, I mean, before, uh, I mean, here, before preposition, we use adverb. Before preposition, we use adverb. So, here, this one is preposition and we are using adverb here. So, look at the position of using adverb. Then, next one, there says, before an adjective, we can use, before an adjective, we can use an adverb. Okay. Before an adjective, before an adjective, we can use an adverb. How this punctual is an adjective, you know, and we are using here adverb. Adverb. Okay, dear students. Now before principal verb. Do you know principal verbs? The main verb of the sentence is called principal verbs. Okay, there are a lot of supporting verbs. I mean helping verbs also, but in this sentence you are getting here principal verbs. This is principal verb. Principal verb and before principal verb we are using adverb always. It indicates he always completes his work. Okay. It is here adverb always. So in this way dear students we can use an adverb. I mean by following this way, you can use adverbs. Okay, dear students. Okay, dear students. Now we are going to learn the kinds of adverbs. Kinds of adverbs here. First one, interrogative adverbs, relative or conjunctive adverbs, then simple adverbs. So we have got three types of adverbs based on the function. We have got these three types of adverbs. Okay, dear students. So now we are going to learn it by example. First one, interrogative adverbs. The adverb that makes question. Here, where? Okay. These adverbs indicating place. Where do you live? And it makes question. If an adverb makes question, it will be called an interrogative adverb. Okay. Now, relative or conjunctive adverbs. Yes, students, relative or conjunctive adverbs. Here is the, you know, here you will get a slight difference between relative and conjunctive adverbs. 
I have given here two examples. First one, I know the place. This place, the place is here antecedent, you know, antecedent. Okay, relative pro pronoun or relative adverb, if you get that. Okay, before relative uh, pronoun or relative adverb, you get this antecedent. Okay, here. So, here adverb, this adverb is called relative adverb. This, re this adverb is called relative adverb. Here, but in case of number two, number two example, I know where he lives. You are also getting here adverb, but look at the difference. You are getting here antecedent and antecedent is silent in the next sentence. I mean in the example number two, you are not getting any antecedent. But here, I know where he lives. The place is silent here. Antecedent is silent here. If you get the antecedent silent, in that case, it will be called conjunctive adverb. Okay, here, conjunctive adverb. We may call the second one conjunctive adverb and the first one relative adverb. So, this is the slight difference between these two sentences. Okay, first one is relative adverb and second one is conjunctive adverb. It is so because you are getting here antecedent and here number two, in case of number two, antecedent is silent. This is why. Okay, dear students, now we are going to learn simple adverb. The, all the adverbs, uh, you know, rest of the adverbs are called simple adverbs and we are going to learn it. There are uh, many kinds of simple adverbs. Okay, dear students, now pay attention to the simple adverb. Okay. Okay, dear students, now simple adverb, simple adverb can be this type of adverbs, okay, can be divided into this type of adverbs. At first, adverb of time, adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of degree, adverb of frequency, adverb of order, adverb of affirmation and negation, and adverb of cause and effect. I have written here some examples so that I can make you understand the things properly. Okay, dear students, here first one, adverb of time. It indicates time. Do it now. Here you are getting the answer. Do it now. It indicates time. Okay, dear students, so it is an adverb and it indicates time. So it is adverb of time. Okay, dear students, now I can Here, adverb of place, stand here, so it indicates place here, okay, it, it, this here indicates place, if I give one more example, it will be more clear to you, go there, go there, so here, this there also indicates an adverb and he, this there is indicating here also place. Okay, now he was driving carelessly. He was driving carelessly. It indicates uh, the manner. Actually, the way people do the work, it indicates manner. So here, this carelessly indicates manner. Okay, dear students. Now, if I give one more example, it will be more clear to you. Okay, she did the work attentively. She did the work attentively. Here, she did it attentively. So, here it indicates also manner. Okay, dear students, now. Adverb of degree, I am quite happy, it indicates in case of degree, how much, okay, it indicates how much, here you can write this quite is an adverb, you know, now if I give one more example, it will be more clear to you. The work is almost done. So here this almost 
is an adverb. This almost is an adverb. Okay, dear students. So, this is the way, I mean, we can learn adverb of degree. It indicates how much. Okay. Now, adverb of frequency. In case of adverb of frequency, they go to school regularly. Okay. They, they go to school regularly. It indicates the, actually, uh, time. How often? How often they do it? Okay. If I give one more example, it will be more clear to you. They go to school regularly. They... They take part or they do it daily. So, this one is also an example of adverb of frequency. Okay. Write it down in your CW copy. Then, adverb of order. Adverb of order, in case of adverb of order, you get actually the position, I mean, when. Okay. She came first. So, it, it, it indicates the position, that means early, okay, she came first. Now, if I write one more example, it will be more clear to you. He, he came last, he came last. So, here, this last this last and adverb of order okay dear students so these are the examples of adverb of order now adverb of affirmation and negation so it indicates the affirmative sense and negative sense okay here look at the example yes he did it so this yes it is indicating here this yes is indicating here the affirmation okay and the next one here no he didn't come so here this no is indicating here the negation okay dear students so adverb of affirmation and negation you will get this type of sense yes or no sense okay now adverb of cause and effect so adverb of cause and effect here he is ill so he cannot go to his school so you know cause what's the cause your cause is ill and so so he cannot go to college so there is a cause and effect in these sentences okay is ill and this so is an adverb so he cannot go to school okay dear students now i will give you one more example Okay, dear students, now I am giving one more example in case of adverb of cause and effect. If I write here, I therefore missed the bus. So here is also you are getting cause and effect because I was late, most probably that's why. This is the cause and I didn't get the bus. So, I therefore, therefore is an adverb here. Okay, dear students. Now, sometimes you make mistake with the adjective and adverbs. That's why I am going to give you the clear, a clear idea about the use of adverb and adjective. Okay, if I make the difference, it will be more clear to you and you will be able to identify the adjective and adverb clearly. Okay, dear students. Now, look at the board. Okay, dear students, for the benefit of you, I have written here some sentences so that you can identify the adverb and adjective and adverb and adjective properly. Okay, dear students, take a look here. She, he is a first bowler. Whenever you are watching game, I mean uh, cricket, sometimes you are telling that he is a first bowler. Okay, so here he is a first bowler. First, here, bowler, noun. You know, or we know that before noun we get adjective. Okay, so this is noun, bowler, and this one will be adjective. Sometimes you make mistake, but look at the position of the words. I mean, parts of speech. Before noun you get generally adjective. Okay, distance. Okay, now here he runs fast. 
here after verb we have told that after intensity verb in the you know outset of our class we have told that after intensity intensity verb we get adverb okay dear students here so runs verb and then first is adverb so it will be adverb not an adjective it will be adverb now iron is a hard metal i have told you that before noun we get an adjective here metal noun noun and this one is adjective okay this hard is adjective now they work hard here verb after verb we get transitive verb we get adverb so this hard is this hard is adverb okay dear students so it will be an adverb okay now he is an early riser he is an early riser so here riser noun riser it indicates riser who early riser <coughs> okay then here early before noun we have told, told you that before noun we get an adjective so it will be an adjective okay dear students now in case of number 3 here look at here she you are getting same word but here the look at the use of the words actually here she came early she came early this is verb and this early is here an adverb because after verb we are getting here adverb but here early we are getting a before noun look at the difference between these two before noun we are getting early that's why it is an adjective before after verb we are getting an early so it will be called an adverb okay by the same process in the first and second sentence also we get here here first before noun we are get here you know before noun we are getting here first that's why it is an adjective here after verb we are getting here first that's why it is an adverb in case of number 2 same thing before noun we are getting here hard that's why it will be an adjective and here after verb we are getting hard so after verb it will be an adverb okay dear students now in case of number 4 he is her only son <coughs> i have told you that before noun son noun so here this only will be an adjective because you are getting before noun before noun if you get this word i only this word will be an adjective so this is an adjective now she can write only look at the difference between these two words here write only after verb you are getting here okay it modifies verb that's why it is adverb it is an adverb okay and this is verb is it clear i think all of you are understand, understanding it properly okay now she spoke in a loud voice this is very much same this is very much same to the previous okay voice is a noun and a loud voice so here noun before noun you are getting adjective before noun you are getting adjective okay now look at the difference between this two examples she spoke loudly here after verb you are getting after verb you are getting the words so actually it it modifies verb that's why it will be called an adverb okay dear students so here i gave some examples for you because so that i can make you understand the difference between an adjective and and an adverb properly so dear students i think all of you have understood it properly and you will not make any kind of mistake in case of writing an adverb or in case of writing an adjective so i think you will do it well dear students now i am going to start my feedback session in my feedback session i am going to make you some questions and suddenly i hope that you will do well okay dear students look at the board okay dear learners in the feedback session i have given here some questions for you first one do it now you have to identify what type of parts of speech i mean from adverb or preposition 
and you have to identify the kinds also then i went there then he needs a chair to sit on you are getting a preposition what type of preposition you have to identify then the king went a hunting so a here what type of preposition it is you have to identify then considering his merit he was given job okay now match the answers with me first one do it now so adverb of time adverb of time then he went there this is adverb of place then you are getting here preposition he needs to he needs a chair to sit on so this is called you know detached preposition this is called detached preposition now the king went a hunting this a stands for on so this is disguised preposition okay then considering his merit he was given job so you can write for considering for so this is participle preposition because for this participle you can write this preposition so this is participle preposition okay dear learners now i am going to give you homework dear learners this is the homework for you i think all of you have written the homework dear learners i hope all of you have enjoyed the class today and you have taken all the important notes of this class so thank you very much thank you all